The convenient thermal cycler management software, Biometra T-Suite, supports you in your everyday laboratory work. For example, in creating programs, in operation and monitoring of your thermal cyclers, and in saving and exporting of various documentation files. In the following, we will show all the important topics, from the start of the software program, to the detection of thermal cyclers, and the creation and execution of programs, to documentation options, user management, and service options. The various functions are arranged thematically in the software in sections that can be quickly accessed via the left menu bar. Learn how easy it is to use the software in the following short videos, where we will walk you through the most important steps and functions. For function-specific details, please refer to the relevant user manuals of the thermal cycler or the software. Let's get started. The first view is the home screen, which is a dashboard that provides an overview via various interactive tiles. On first use, you will need to select which connection interface you are using, Ethernet or serial communication. This setting only needs to be made when using a new connection type for the first time. Both interfaces offer different settings so that they can be selected to suit the preferred communication Save your settings. Return to the home screen while the software now automatically searches for connected thermal cyclers. All thermal cyclers found in the network are listed in tile thermal cycler. They are displayed with their serial number, device and block type, block status via color coding and any users logged on to the devices. When using the software for the first time, it is useful to set which of the connected devices block notifications should be displayed in the home screen dashboard. You can do this in the settings area in the tab block notifications. Select all blocks for which you want to see current notifications in the dashboard in the block selection column. Finally, save the settings and return to home screen. Now the tile Notifications and Recordings is shown, in which messenger for the selected thermal cycler blocks will be displayed. In the next step, we log in as a user on a thermal cycler using the login button. Existing user accounts on the thermal cycler are listed. After selecting the desired user, the user password is requested, if previously assigned. Now the programs that the user has already created are shown. In the following, we will show how to create a program via the program area. First, the desired thermal cycler and the user are selected. A list of already existing programs is displayed. Using the Create button, you can now select whether you want to create the program based on a template or completely on your own. After selecting a template, make the desired customization for the new program. For this purpose, a new program name should be assigned first. Now, further adaptations of temperatures and times follow in the corresponding program steps. Display of the permissible value ranges under the input fields makes program writing particularly easy. When entering impermissible values, a red coloring of the input field immediately indicates unsuitable values. When a temperature gradient is introduced, typically in the annealing step of the PCR, the corresponding temperatures for the columns are immediately displayed.
In addition to the display as a table, a graphic display is also available. Also, in this view, the same protocol adaptations can be made for each program step. Finally, the newly created program is saved. If you want to export a program for external purposes, please proceed as follows. Select the program and open the window for selecting the location on the computer using the export button. Assign a file name and the program will be saved on the computer in tabular form in CSV format. This file format can then be opened and saved in Microsoft Excel, for example. To transfer a temperature program as a startable program, it must be copied and saved either directly on another thermal cycler or offline on the computer. To do this, select the program and use the copy button. Select the target thermal cycler and transfer the program as a copy using the paste button. The program is now displayed in the user's program list. If you want to start a program, please select it from your program list on the thermal cycler and click on the Start button. The program will be opened. In case you want to start an advanced run log file, you can select it here. For multi-block devices, it is necessary to select which block is to be started. When the program is started, the display automatically changes to the monitor view. In this view, the current device parameters can be followed in live mode. After the preheating is finished, the program starts with the first step, which is grayed out in the view. When switching to the next program step, this is indicated with a gray background. The program and the parameters can be watched in the same way in the graphic view. Here too, the currently active program step is displayed with a gray background. The remaining time of the step is indicated in the column below as hold time. The current status of the selected thermal cycler can also be tracked in the dashboard on the home screen. You can return to the more detailed monitoring view via the monitor tile. When the program is finished, the view automatically switches back to the home screen. If the last step is set as a permanent incubation, you can manually switch back to the home screen. In the documentation area, you can view the various documentation files, for example, run log files. Select the desired file from the list of automatically recorded run log files and have it displayed via the view button. The data are thematically sorted in three tabs. Besides the automatically recorded run log file, you can also select to record an advanced run log file with more detailed temperature data when starting the program. You can also view this file. By selecting the corresponding tabs, you can switch between the different data categories. In addition to the table view, the program can also be looked at in the graphical view. In the advanced run log file, you will find the additional detailed temperature data in a fourth tab, temperature data. These data can be exported in tabular form for external documentation purposes.
In some work environments, user management is an important issue. We will show you here how to set user rights for thermal cyclers with the corresponding management option. To do this, select the desired thermal cycler and activate the Options button. In the Settings tab, activate User Management. Then switch to the User tab. Via Create, you can now set up a new user. Based on three user categories under User Templates, we create an account and, if desired, access protection via a password. After selecting the template, the rights assigned by default can still be customized. By confirming with OK, the new user is created and appears in the user list of the Thermal Cycler. You can create backups of the device memory via the Thermal Cycler's Options area. This saves all folders, programs, users, and user settings, and can be used as a backup copy or for mirroring for another Thermal Cycler of the same model. In the Service tab, you can use the Save button to automatically create a service into file. Via the Service tab, you can also start the execution of a self-test. After confirming that the required conditions for the test are met, the test is started by clicking OK. Since we are working with the Biometra T robot, automated thermal cycler in our example, the device lid is initialized and closed at the start of the test. The running of the detailed self-test is also displayed on the home screen with the corresponding icon. Finally, let's take another look at the dashboard of the home screen. For all thermal cyclers, you can immediately see if the block is free, in use or paused by looking at the color coding of the block icon. An error condition or backups are also indicated in this way. After selecting a thermal cycler, you can see the program stored for the logged in user, as well as the data of the current device state in the monitor tile. According to the previously selected thermal cyclers, the last messages about incidents on the thermal cycler are listed in the notifications and recording style. With the Biometra T-Suite Thermal Cycler Management software, you can make the most of your Thermal Cycler device pool and are always informed about your applications and devices from your desk.